This is Perth, Western Australia, affectionately called the most isolated city in the world, with a population of 1.7 million. It's here the top GAA footballers in Ireland have travelled to represent their country in a series that started in 1984, but is in danger of being terminated unless the Australians take it seriously. We need to showcase our game, we need to show people that we're serious about it, that it has a future, and we hope the AFL take it as seriously as we do. The Irish have prepared diligently for months, each player acutely aware of the rare opportunity to play for their country. The people back at home sometimes don't realise how much this means to the players and you, you can see every player really engaging in it. You know, the, There's a public perception sometimes that we're just coming out here for the good weather and, uh, and the bit of a trip out, but every day you know, we are preparing and thinking about this game. Every Australian you meet uh, is telling us how much they're going to walk over the, you know, this Irish team, so we're definitely looking forward to the challenge. It's the only chance we get to represent our country and play for Ireland, and same with the Australian boys. So um, we're excited. They put out a good team, and we've we've got we've had the wood over them the last couple of years and beaten them convincingly. So it's going to be a tough game on the weekend, but we're ready for it. For the thousands of immigrants like Owen Cunningham and this man Jamie O'Donnell, the Irish GA team travelling to Perth to play Australia in the international rules is very special. Being out here in Perth for the last three years now and missing most championships back home. It's absolutely fantastic to see the top Australian uh, AFL players play against our top GA players. It's absolutely phenomenal. Does it reconnect you with, with home? Oh, it does, yeah. When you, you get the lads to come out here and you play football, like just seeing that, the quality that they have, like it reassures you of, of what home and what the talent is all about at home. And it's just the same out here in Perth, like talent and football and everything is absolutely brilliant. It's very important to see the international rules here in Perth because we, we get to see our top stars from home play over in Australia. It's putting the Irish team on an international stage and we all look really forward to it and it's nice to have a piece from home over here in Australia. You'll see the Irish support out on Saturday. We just can't wait. The Australians looked in great shape as they wound down their preparations for tomorrow night's game. Despite the apparent loss of the injured Nat Fife, it's a very strong Aussie lineup, sprinkled with all Australian stars. It's almost the best of the best, really. Every every player that's playing is an All Australian member, uh, and we're certainly taking it very seriously, and we're playing to win. The international rules may be 30 years old this year, but its future is now dependent on what happens here in Perth next Saturday night. The Australian attitude seems to have changed over the last 12 months. They're lining up with an All Australian team which shows you that they want an international dimension to their games as much as the GAA. Marty Morrissey, RT News, Perth, Australia.